Two metres apart is wide enough for us. Two streets apart, two cities. We aren't friends, are we? We walk past each other and you cross the road. Good, I think. Thank God we can hide behind this. I know your coat, how fake the leather sounds. I know your fringe like it was my own. I know you get the ten past eight bus on Tuesdays because I make sure I get the late one. I know you smoke. You drink red wine because I can see it sometimes on your teeth. I'm not a creep, but somehow I study you. You hesitate in the street slightly and I think perhaps you did want to say something to me after all. You stop. I stop. You blow at your fringe. But it wasn't me that had your attention, but the old man behind me. You wave at him in his garden and you walk on. Sometimes I spit after I see you. Sometimes I have to go inside and wash my mouth. Sometimes I look into the mirror. I never cry. The kids tell me you go to your allotment every day, that you're good with plants. You uh, put things in pots and they grow and then you put them on the table. You eat the peas, I ask them, raw. They taste okay when they come from the ground, my eldest tells me. <laughs> Hooray, I say. And I look at my shop-bought vegetables in a pan of salty water. Hooray, I think. I walk past the allotments later. I was going that way anyway, and I wonder which one is yours. Is it the one with the beans and courgettes already up, perhaps? Or maybe it's the one with the set of chairs and a rainbow flag, yeah. That'd be right. Perhaps it's the messiest one of all. The one that just somehow seems to say, this is somewhere you can be. I, I imagine you and all the kids, dirty hands and faces and, and looking at things as you um, pull them up from the ground. I imagine you kneeling on the ground and showing the youngest one a little worm you just found in the earth. I go home and I buy cut flowers from Tesco's, even though I have to queue, which I put in a jug. After the clapping, I walk around the block. I'm on my own and, and I want to walk. I go your way. I don't know why. I could say I've got something to drop off for the kids, but I don't. I go your way because that's the way my feet take me. My feet take me places and I go. That is the only rule I have these days. You're outside in the street smoking. And I know you've given up smoking, but this being too long in the house is killing us all. I know I'm drinking. And I'm, I'm ready to cross the road and walk the other way, but there's something new in the way that you're standing. You're holding on to that railing like it's the only thing keeping you up. I look at you for a second and you wipe your eyes on your sleeve and you sniff and you turn away. But I remember that look. That way of holding on and the way it felt like the whole world would slip if I let go. Chrissy, I say, but you've gone. I don't see you the next time I drop off the kids. So you're usually in the background or making tea, moving around, being. And I don't see you at the bus stop either. Chrissy ill? I ask the kids. No, they say. She hurt her hand. How did she hurt her hand? 
she dropped something on it. <laughs> and I remember uh, the way I told my mother that I had shut my foot in the car door by accident. And the way that I had told work I had been sick. I find you at the allotment. Chrissy, I say as I stand by the gate. You don't hear me. You're out of earshot and busy putting canes in the ground. I remember once being shut in a room all night whilst he raged outside. Chrissy, sleeping in a hotel bathroom because I was scared to come out. Chrissy, you see me then and you come over. Why are you always watching me, you ask? It takes me aback. Because you're beautiful, I say. Because if I were him, I'd have chosen you too. <laughs> you scoff. You're cleverer. Ooh, I got away. If that is clever, then <laughs> you laugh at that. A, a laugh that's... Like the morning sun. And then you stop. The laugh is hurting you. And you put a hand on your on your side. <laughs> and I know it wasn't that funny. No joke is that funny. And when you lift your head and, and look at me there. There's something else. Who else in the whole world knows like we know? He has a temper. Of course he does. He doesn't mean it. And after, he's sorry. You don't have to tell me, Chrissy. I know the sorry. It's just the lockdown. He's, he's stressed as all hell. He, he, he might lose his job. And I nod. You blow at your fringe. And you hesitate, but there's nothing more to be said. You go back to your beans then, and I go back to my house. Walk the long way home. Next time I see you in the street, you don't cross the road. You don't wave to the man behind me. You hesitate, then you stop. You stand and turn. And when I catch up, we walk two metres between us in silence for a while.